Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review of the Lisa mattress. So I've actually owned this mattress. This is the original Lisa that I've now owned for um, probably about going on four plus years now. So originally when I did a lot of research, um, this is obviously one of the most competitive categories that you could be in when it comes to buying something, especially online. And it's very difficult, you know, doing all that comparison, trying to figure out, you know, what is the best mattress. So I really looked at um, kind of price point, um, knowing that if I spent a little bit more money, I was going to get something of a little bit higher quality. And then at the same time, just doing my due diligence to read what other people were saying online and what they had to say about it. So I found with this particular mattress, um, you know, overall over the years, I've been sort of hit or miss with it. And I'll go through some of my thoughts. So this is a mattress in a box. When you get it, it's going to be basically vacuum sealed. You're gonna unroll that, um, that packaging and this thing is gonna unflate itself. So that's something you really have to bear in mind. Um, you're not gonna get something that's like loaded with springs. This is entirely made of memory foam. Um, you do have this kind of cool design that they've got up here at the top. Um, and again, you can flip this kind of either way over time as you use, use the mattress, but you've got these sort of like four white lines that go across. Um, the material is fairly nice. It's very, very soft in terms of the actual mattress itself, but it's purely memory foam. So there's no springs in this mattress. Um, I found that, you know, being on the mattress, you do have like pretty good, um, just sort of side, I guess, balance, you know, like if you're basically right on the edge of the mattress, it doesn't feel like you're going to fall off. Right. I found that more with this mattress, it's probably more so that it's going to feel like you're kind of moving into the center, but it does have that kind of cloud effect, if you will. Um, generally I found with this particular mattress, the biggest con for me was that both my wife and I noticed after about four or five years of use, the mattress started to really kind of sag towards the center. And what was happening is basically I'm a side sleeper. So my hip was bending in and you know, you're sleeping like that for, you know, up to eight hours. I would end up waking up with a lot of low back pain. Now, again, this took a very, very long time for this to happen. And, um, I found that, um, I was able to contact Lisa, actually tell them that I was having an issue with this and they actually replaced the mattress free under warranty. So I thought that that was really good. And I think another thing that I read about this was that some of the original iterations of this particular mattress also had some problems that were basically admitted by the company and they ended up resolving some of those issues, adding extra support to the mattress. And this is now my replacement. So sleeping on this one, we've been kind of using it as a guest bed because we ended up, my wife just sort of forced me to buy something else that was a little bit more expensive. So as you can see, this is basically brand new and um, I'm currently, I just have it set up here on like a spare futon mattress to show it to you guys, but I plan on using it as a guest bed. And um, more or less, you know, it's something that I think was an overall good experience, but I wouldn't expect to necessarily get like 10 years of life out of this, right? It's sort of one of those things you get what you, you know, put into it. And uh, I found with this, right, it's not going to be the lowest of quality mattresses. There was another one that my wife bought that was, you know, a fraction of the price, probably like 25% of the cost of this. And, um, you know, it was something where that was a very, very uncomfortable mattress, like very obvious right out of the gate where something like this, you're not going to have that, right? It is overall going to be more comfortable and it is something that's going to work fairly well, I think, for the, the amount that you're putting into it, right? So... Anyway, um, overall, I've been fairly happy with the mattress. I think, you know, from a standpoint, the fact that the company was able to back me in terms of like replacing it because of the fact that I had a complaint, I would just give you a couple suggestions before you decide to buy this. First, do your due diligence in terms of like, what kind of a sleeper are you? Are you a back sleeper, a side sleeper? Maybe you sleep on your stomach. I would judge what you decide to get for a mattress based on some of those things and do your research and um, look and see, you know, what kind of mattress is going to work best based on my positioning. Um, I actually ended up going with a um, mattress that's very similar to something like a sleep number for the one that we use now. And that has a lot of adjustable functionality in it. It basically like pumps air into the whole bed. But again, I'm paying probably about triple what, it, what I'd be paying to get something like this. So ultimately, you know, it, this is really something you have to decide is, you know, do I want to spend more money and get something that's going to have those types of features in it? Or do I want something that I'm just going to sort of take that risk and know that, you know, the company will back me if I have to return it, which most of them will. And I know Lisa will probably give you a trial on this. If you're unhappy, you can always return it. So 
I would really just base it on those things, you know, do some research, read what other people are saying about it based on your sleep um, pattern and what you're doing in your sleep, like in terms of backside and whatnot, and um, really go from there. But yeah, I would say overall my experience was pretty good with the Lisa, the fact that the company backed me, and um, I'd say if you decide to pick this up, probably won't regret it. Um, I think it is a good mattress, but um, yeah, really just do some of that due diligence and make the decision for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my review.